Got your boy Blizzy Black coming from you live from the G. He want a big enough pack out the liver, Blizzy. SMG Audio. She made me bet for that thing like forgiveness of God. Lately we be in the eyes. Don't care about your feelings. Go cry me a river. She bouncing the dick. I call a ticket cold. They name me a storm on the winter. Whoa, the chopper right there in the rental. These niggas salty like they in LA. I go and get it. Don't care about the stakes. The way that I'm living, I can't make mistakes. They dropping like leaves and they give me a rake. I'm trying to run it up. Give me a rape. I need my family, but they on the stage. And it's on this watch. I was nine. The first gun I shot was a nine. Fuck with them niggas who talk to the pigs At Records all. are records, I told them to chill We don't got helmets, but we in the field This weed is so gassy and I'm on the pill Don't try to test me, I'm on the tail When I say shoot it, I ain't talking spawning When I say flush it, I don't mean to talk Niggas be capping when they be recording State to state and I don't even be talking I ran through those faster than expected, bro I need three more packs You just on the stage with like ten plus three more My young boy take your shit, be like what chain? Like that Debo cat Standing up doodle one, I be on some different shit Nah, I ain't had this on earlier, bro, this a different fit Nah, I ain't had this when I clapped at you, this a different clip My boy Nothing ain't off limits, my boy Hey, Cause it's the real one. It's ain't that fake shit I was drinking. Mm -hmm. I tell y'all boy that been night cool. I tell y'all ass that that been night cool. He did. He did. He did. No, this man, let's call that shit. I swear to God, man, let's call that shit on the head. When he come here, that and last pull case that he had, he pull everybody up. Man, that nigga leave military. That shit fit, bro. I said, what the fuck? I said, pull I said, up I said damn. What's I said, damn. Why you see that? He said, bro. You know, Where the fuck this nigga ever pull everybody up? I said shit. Mm. But I've been seeing that before that. I ain't gonna lie. Yeah. Y'all shit don't taste like that, my nigga. Man, that nigga pull up like eight niggas. Ooh. Jazz, oh. bro. Well, nigga said, come on, let's go to the store. Everybody get a soda. The fuck? Mm. <laughs> wait, wait, niggas was getting that from Jobby people? Yeah. Ah, yeah, we, I'm, I'm, I'm ready. We are. Oh, that nigga is a fanatic. I think he fucked up by letting me smoke before I start shooting. <laughs> he, he thought that was some bullshit. <laughs> he feeling like me right now. Imagine that in that shit. In that dead knee shit. Boy, I'm fucking high as a bitch. All let's go in that shit too. Boom, so. let me see. Um, what's the question? Oh, no, no, you oh. good, you good. Like, oh, why you start rapping? You kick shit like y'all. Who, who you look? Who, that nigga, who, who influenced you? Who influenced you? I, 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 who you want to work with in the city? In that shit. You good. I ain't really want to work with nobody right now. Whoever, well, <laughs> if you ain't from over here, I don't work with everybody over here. Mm -hmm. Do I want to work with? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I don't know. 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 What's up, y'all boy? You tuning in to Thoughty World in between the run. We got a special guest today. Um, you want to introduce yourself? Got your boy Blizzy Black coming from you live from the G. I need a brick, nigga. Uh, before we get started, though, I just want to say I appreciate you fucking with the interviews and shit. You already know my boy. World. Um, I remember working with you probably about. Damn near like three years when we first went. What was the name of that video? We but that was more than three years ago, boy. Yeah, I, was like, yeah, yeah. I already remember. Down. I, the first video we ever was really where well, I hit you for uh, my cousin SMG Youngblood video. The uh, Facts, all man, of my I niggas. That, right? Yeah, all of my niggas. That been the first time for me been around the corner and shit like that. Facts. Mm. We probably done got yeah. at least ten, ten videos. Yeah, yeah. With you somewhere in that Supposed to be more, than, but you know. Got me we, I was say, we both high as hell in this interview, let y'all know. High as a bitch. Still smoking. <laughs> mm. All this shit is unscripted and everything he's saying, asking him to answer this shit. I ain't gonna fuck. Oh, yeah, the first time I heard your music, I be like, oh, what the fuck is this? Like, what the fuck is this? Like, what the fuck is this? Like, what I wouldn't say like New York accent or how you would say it, but just the way you was flowing was hella different. And you ain't coming with, you know, you coming with the metaphors, the simile, all of that. Um, That's because while I start rapping up New York, and Cassidy was my favorite rapper, like, Cassidy used to go to Hot 97 and just... Even, we ain't even get to that part. Oh, I'm about to I say that's wild. Right? <laughs> you already ready, Joe. 
Nah, I'm just saying that's why I start. I rap like that because niggas don't rap like that. Niggas just be, you know, sick kicking their shit. I be feeling like every time I rap, I gotta say some, some metaphor, simile, some shit like that. Right. Um, so we can start off at the beginning. Like, um, where did you grow up at? Well, I was born in Jacksonville, Florida, and I moved to New York, Mount Vernon, New York. And I just was everywhere in New York. Then I moved down here in 2017. So was the transition from Florida to New York a significant difference? Hell yeah. Shit yeah. Like how, how was life growing up in Florida? Like was you seeing a lot of things going on? Like Yeah, in Florida and I was I was in Jacksonville. Niggas was dying all the time, trap shit. Um, at my, what age did you decide to move to Oh uh, shit, my mama kicked me out kinda basically like my mama was like, You need to go with your daddy type shit to New York. And that's only how I even know about New York. So you already spent about 10 plus years in Jacksonville? Yeah, like 10. 10. They, they, she was like, I gotta move to New York because I've been threatening people with knives and shit like that. Sleeping with a knife under my bed and shit like that. Uh, did you go to school in uh, Jacksonville? In Jacksonville? Yeah, hell yeah. I went, to, I went to mad ass of schools in Jacksonville. My mom used to, my uncle owned like real estate and shit, so we moved around a lot. So how would you consider yourself as a kid in school? Like, you was a quiet kid? Hell no. I was a tension seeker. Right. <laughs> I was a tension seeking ass nigga, boy. You was getting into mischief? Like, like what were you doing? Like, you I'm trying to be, I'm you? trying to be funny. I'm trying to fight. I was, in the 90s, being dark skin wasn't cool. Like, I mean, everybody <coughs> had all the jokes against the dark skin nigga. So I used to fight because of that. I used to fight because niggas was more athletic than me and I was short and shit. <laughs> Or any so you have to always protect yourself. That's what you. I didn't have to. I just did that shit to like for the stand. Like nigga, you gonna notice me, big ass nigga? Or I ain't one of them little niggas you gonna push around. Like I guess it was the short, the Napoleon complex shit. I got the Napoleon complex shit. Hey, but be honest now. If, if you were to say your fight ratio, like what's your L's and what's your dubs? Everybody be saying nigga fight, but you know everybody gotta take an L every now and then. I lost two fights in my life. How did that go? One one fight, it was a neighborhood bully, and I could really beat the nigga up, but he was a neighborhood bully, Sherry. He was, already, he was fucking with you. He's the neighborhood America. bully. Everybody, everybody was scared. Niggas' moms was scared of this nigga, bro. Niggas' moms used to tell him, "Don't fight back." Like, just let the nigga. Like, nigga was a menace. I think he was older than everybody. Nigga was like twelve. I still fucking around with the kids. Yeah, man. my nigga, and I, I fought the nigga. I could have, I could have beat him up, but I was so scared. Like so scared of me, so I lost him. Then when I first moved to New York, I fought some Jamaican nigga. Florida, growing up in Florida, you don't know nothing about no. Well, I'm probably not now, now, but in the nineties, why ain't no no fucking Jamaicans, my nigga? Get into it with a Jamaican nigga. That nigga kicked me like straight, standing up like straight, like nigga leg. Yeah, I wasn't ready for that. Nah, I wasn't ready for that. Two fights, all all the rest of the fights I won, bro. I'm not gonna count. But you would say you had plenty fights, or you plenty fights. Plenty of fights. Plenty of fights. I don't know. How many fights you done seen me in? A couple? I, I was there for one. One? You just there for one. I was there for one. Somebody threw a pin top, top at him and I beat the nigga up just for no. Cause I wanted to Ben beat him up already. And I have a real reason. So with the the same attitude you had in school, that's how you behave at home. Cause I know you said your mom was kicking you out. Yeah, you? my I was with my pops and that nigga was a crip. It was a gangbanger. So what the fuck he gonna tell? I, I want to be Crip too. Mm. Oh, so I was Crip and he was telling me, instead of him saying, son, what the fuck is you doing following me? This nigga said, you ain't even real right, nigga. You should be in my set. At what age do you think that's when he gonna start? I know you haven't been like six, seven years old. He's telling you. No, hell, I, I was 10 when I when I first moved with him. So this is probably like so, four years and I, and I had turned. What age would you say? When I turned Crip? I mean, like what age was you whenever you transitioned from Florida to like 11, 10, 11. And he was already trying to push that game. Yeah, you no, know, he was already a, a gang. When I was little and he used to come visit me in Florida, he used to be like, your favorite color is blue. You don't like red. He never told me why. He was just like, your favorite. <laughs> yeah, and I'm just like, hey, my favorite color blue. So you you was the only kid like in the household at the time? Well, with my mom? When you, when you was staying with your mom. Like well, my mom, no, nah, my mama had two other kids. My mom got a lot of kids, boy, but it been me and my little sister. And my little brother, as soon as my little brother was born, she was like, yeah, you got to go. So I ain't even really even get the experience, no, none of that with him. So you would consider y'all like a middle class, a rich class? For well, my mama? I mean, like growing up we as poor. a child. Like, right? Poor. 
Yeah. A, but we never knew we was poor, but poor. My dad really let me know I was poor. And what he would do? And when he, you know, when I, I, I met my dad later on in life, not later on in life, but like when I was like eight, seven, eight. And he came down there and the nigga was just looking at me up and down like, damn, my son looked bad. And then when the nigga went back to New York, he sent the whole box of shit. And that's when I first realized like, damn, sneakers come out months in New York before they come out there. Young, not no more. That's different now. But back then, sneakers used to come out. I swear to God, bro, I, I had them sneakers on. Them shits ain't come out for months, bro. My shits was dirty and shit. And yeah. niggas was just not getting in. Nah, nah. You was wearing some name brand shit or just anything? Well, when I when, when he came down here? Like nah, Fila was the most name brand shit I had. I never even had Nike, bro. When I first had Nike, I was like, damn, I got Nikes. So you know how old this child? Hmm? Was you the yeah, I was, yeah, I was yeah, I was always older. So. so you've been pretty much responsible for taking care of your siblings. Hell yeah. So transitioning to New York, I know you say you was like ten. Eleven, 10, yeah. Around that time, what was the real reason why you got sent yeah. off? Like you just wanted to. Nah, my mama different. couldn't. My mama couldn't handle me, man. My mama couldn't handle me, and I had to live with my pop. <laughs> I think it loud as hell to my dick sack. <laughs> You a carry ain't cut nothing either, nigga. Like them, they gonna know your voice, nigga. That's the fuck is so that? like uh, moving into New York, how did that uh, make you feel? Cause I know coming into a new environment can be. I was loving scary, it, bro. Yeah. No, I was loving it, bro. You know how much New York movies I've seen as a kid with graffiti and trains mm -hmm. and this and that. Then I know I had a brother there. You feel me? So I'm like, fuck down south, my nigga. Your brother older or younger than you? He younger than I'm oldest. Oh, I'm always, always the oldest. Always the oldest. Yeah. So. Like, ah, uh, I need my fanny. What would you, yeah, I need my fanny. Like, what would you consider the lifestyle in New York comparison to Florida? Cause I know Florida ain't country, but they ain't city at the same time. Florida country, bro. Depending on where you at. Yeah, Florida, Florida to me was way country compared to New York. Every time I talk to somebody, where you from? Where you from? It's a fast, real fast pace, bro. Real fast like, pace. New York ain't nothing but city, like yeah, well, yeah. New York is a real fast pace. I'm talking about like real fast, like you'll lose your fucking life in a second, <laughs> lose your whole identity. Second, anything could change in the New York, in a New York minute. minute. Wow. Did you decide to go to school when you was in New York? Yeah, I went to elementary. So, like, I finished ele elementary school. I went to middle school, and high school, graduated high school in New York. Was it easy to like gain friends when you was? Uh, going to school, yeah. I know coming from, right? They just picked up on the southern. And nah, shit. I, was, I just I became a New York nigga. The food and shit different out there, like yeah. they didn't notice, like they yeah. might not have no grits or they ain't got red rice. And nah, shit. they ain't got none of that shit. Yeah. They ain't got none of that shit. They grits is comfy. We got the we got the best food in America. <laughs> Yeah, I, I always mm -hmm. wanted to try some like New York pizza or some shit. That's just it. To see what the yeah, hype was. That's more it. Than, it's more awesome than that. And shit like it's that. more than that. Don't do that, man. That's the only good thing of it. Alright. Yeah, oh, chopped cheese. Yeah, oh, chopped cheese. Uh, bodega <laughs> food. <laughs> Oh, they fool all right, man. They fool ain't fucking with the South, man. Y'all Chinese not fucking with the South. They fool not fucking with the South, man. We ain't gonna get no argument with that. Y'all fool not fucking with the South. <laughs> we got more gourmet shit. Y'all fool not fucking with the South. First of all, Queens is fucking with anything. All right, bro. Anything. <laughs> all right, bro. You got it. Word. So, like, transitioning to your adulthood, right? I know you said you went with your dad. How was life different growing up with your mother than... Your father, I know you said he gang yeah, so My, my mother sure. cared more. I didn't even know about blood, crip, GD, nothing, and that shit was all around me. He just was like, just I was just outside. Like, they say how you say it in New York, outside. I was just outside, bro, doing all type of shit. My dad ain't know what I was doing. Didn't even. I don't want to say he didn't care, but shit, <laughs> nigga ain't give a fuck. As long so as I was living here. The gang life is all over New York. Yeah, like, you can Every, everything is gang, nigga. This building I live in, nigga, this is my gang. Nigga, this is 25 boys. Building 25. Everything is a gang. Everything beef. Niggas is grow up with beef. I beef with you because you stole my crayon and pre-K. Like, static now, like. What gang did you fall to? I know you say your dad was a crip. Yeah, I was a crip. So you was a crip. Yeah, at first. And then I stopped doing that shit. I started dancing or whatever. Then they started looking at the dancing niggas like they was pussy. So I stopped doing that oh, shit. Wait, you used to dance? Yeah, I got, I got videos of 100K plus and shit that I done did, bro. Like you bro. also now, like, 
like Michael Jackson. Nah, some they used to call the shit light feet. Uh, yeah, that shit. <laughs> Niggas doing shoe moves and shit like that. I was a legend. I'm a legend in that shit. <laughs> That's back when they were doing the jerk and shit like that. Yeah, back when they was doing the jerk, but we wasn't doing the jerk. But we got a, speaking of the jerk, we got a video with new boys. Fuck. See, I swear to God, they been on 40 Deuce. We been like, well, y'all didn't, I had to record them niggas real quick. They started doing their little ugly ass jerk. Was so it like a dance group? Yeah, it was a, yeah, it was a, oh, yeah, yeah, it was a right. yeah, real like dance and shit. Then they start robbing them niggas and beating them up and treating them all crazy. And I'm like, niggas not doing that to me. Yeah, what's the, like, what's the craziest yeah. shit you've seen out there in like New York? Because I know they said a murder rate or like the you said robberies. Like. Path more parking lot. Path more parking Pathmore lot? Path parking lot. No, I mean, we seen a nigga get jumped and killed. Like he got jumped and like he died he from getting jumped. Death. He got, but I don't think that was the worst one. I think the worst one. I ain't gonna. I'm gonna I think the worst one was a shorty had killed her baby and put it in the some shorty we went to school with had killed her baby and put it in the freezer type shit. Had that shit in the freezer for like a week. What? The fuck? what? So, yeah, that shit was beast. So when you saw that person get ganged, did that make you? I mean, you said gang and killed. Did that make you feel like? I know he got yeah, killed from getting gang. Like, like niggas was stomping on him and shit till he died. Niggas hopped him. He felt like that niggas shit was serious. That was yeah, I was like, niggas could die from getting jumped? Uh -huh. What the fuck? That's the first time you ever saw somebody yeah, get killed? Yeah. No, no, it was the first time. Hell no, Jacksonville. Oh, it was shit. Yeah, was yeah, yeah, that Jacksonville is crazy, my nigga. You want to hear fully on him? That shit is watered down now, nigga. When, when I was growing up, boy, what? Boy, Jacksonville was a murder rate. It was Jacksonville and New Orleans. That's when it was around that time like that. When New Orleans was ever going crazy and shit before that, Hurricane Katrina came and fucked their shit up and all that. But yeah, I, I've been seeing niggas get killed, but that was my, but by, that's gun violence though. You know, that's somebody getting, when you fight, you live another day, nigga. I fight a nigga, I fight whatever, I fight a nigga and get cool with him. Because we had a misunderstanding. To get jumped and die, bro, was just like, I was, I'm scared to get jumped. Like nobody's never jumping me. Like I'm killing niggas. I'm either running from niggas or seeing them catching them one by one. But niggas not jumping me, bro. So, um, I, so um, did you ever finish up school? Like, did you graduate? Yeah, I graduated. I graduated in New York. So you one of the few out of the statistics that actually facts. Cause you know a lot of people don't even end up graduating. Hell no, like, not not in New York. Niggas jump out. <laughs> so how you think uh, your father felt about you graduating? Like, he felt good cause I got left back in 12th grade cause I wasn't going to stu school cause I ain't have no clothes and shit like that. In New York, you can't go to school with the same shit, bro. Like, niggas gonna make you fight, bro. Like, so you went back to school once you got your shit together? Like, facts. The next year, not once I got together, the next year, I went to alternative school and graduated. So at what point did you turn into music? Like, I've been doing music the whole time. Been doing music. But I guess I wasn't taking it serious. I really feel like I just started taking music serious last year. So like, what what made you start it? Like, you just uh, like, Odyssey. Like something had to happen. So you was like, like anybody you saw rapping in the studio, and you just wanted to. Honestly, bro, the 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 people who I start like music just start becoming whack, bro. Like, I feel like music start becoming whack, and I'm like anybody could do this shit, I, and I love doing this shit. So, and in New York, it's a thing. Like, that's where rapping started in New York. So like, it, everybody rap. Like, you see how everybody in Charleston got a gun. Everybody in New York rap. They probably not serious going to the studio and shit like that. But when we chilling in the room right now, smoking or something, niggas put on an instrumental. Like, nigga, I'll, I'll rap you. Let's rap battle and shit like that. So everybody in New York rap. And then one time, niggas just heard me rapping. And niggas was like, oh, you should take this shit serious. So I just be writing. I'll start writing and shit like that, going to the studio. How long you think you've been whenever you first started fucking around? Like, what you mean, studio or just write, writing shit? I mean, I mean, about... The first time you ever made your first song, like official song, like you ready? You didn't even like twenty ten, fourteen, fourteen. No, like age, like fourteen. Age fourteen. Thirteen, fourteen. Like twenty ten. I know. I don't, I don't remember what you age thirteen, fourteen. <laughs> yeah, right down then. Or you were yeah, I was. I was. I always was writing to like two years ago. Now I don't write nothing. I know, like at fourteen, you couldn't have had no good ass studio or nothing. Hell no, nah. we was Is recording on mixed crap. Yeah, mixed crap. Closet type shit. Fuck the fuck. Not the closet, niggas was in the room, right? In the room. This is before niggas was even recording shit. Just off the laptop and in, in the little remember? I, in the in the living room with, with the, the with, mic and a little laptop. Nigga, in the, not even a laptop. The the muter 
and they had the shit playing, the instrumental playing on the phone. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. With the, with the yeah, fucking yeah, yeah. images playing on the, um, <laughs> on the Microsoft music player and shit. I know you're talking about. Niggas probably don't even know about that shit. Yeah, niggas don't know about that shit. That shit too old, bro. You still remember your first song? Your first rhyme? Oh, that's the first song you made? Hell no. <laughs> you think you had a, like, what do you think your music was then? Ass. My shit just get my music just get good too uh, last year. So that uh, speaking of that, like you think last year was whenever you first started taking the music serious? Facts, like serious, serious. Like I'm spending money on this shit every two, three days. I'm in the studio every two, three days. I'm trying to drop something. I drop like four, five mixtapes, three, four EPs, like twelve, thirteen videos. Like last year, I was really that was my first time I was really serious. Uh, what like studio do you go to? Do you record yourself or SMG Audio, Twindy, J Sauce that, Nine Five. I don't want to forget nobody. OG, OG Studio. Oh Dub, I went to Dub Studio a couple of times, but the studio that he took my like last year when I was doing that was really SMG Audio, mm. J Sauce that, and uh, Twindy. And 9-5. No, 9 five was gone last year. Then he just came back. So you pretty much uh, fuck with whoever fuck with you. Like, yeah. Ain't no specific. Yeah, ain't no person. specific. No. So like when when you making your music, is there a specific sound or beat you be trying to go for a certain uh, Michigan? You go to? Midwest Michigan type shit. That's the type of shit I go to. I ain't gonna lie. Cause what I, I had st- I had stopped doing music, and I had stopped doing start doing funny shit. And like just like comedy shit like that, whatever. Niggas just like my cousin Cap, he been like put that shit in the music or whatever. And I was like, nobody not gonna take that shit serious. Then I heard the whole Midwest shit, the whole Rio and all those niggas and shit. So I'm like, let me just try and do I just really freestyled it. Like, let me just try and niggas been fucking with it, so I'm like, let me do it like that. But now I kinda like found my own little way in it now, like. But I need some Michigan like a faster. I can rap on any type of beat to be real. It don't matter what type of beat. What what genre you consider your music? Comedy, comedy slash try to I guess get some buddy. Try to motivate niggas to get some money and, and laughing comedy right. for sure. I feel like that is important in music. Like you want people to, you know what I mean, vibe to the song, just not you know sing right. shit back to back, you know. Facts. Something to get your mind thinking. Like. Everybody, everybody, everybody who be fucking with my shit tell me they, oh you a funny nigga or this and that. That shit made me get money or this and that. So, long as I, I, I feel like the whole point of doing music to inspire. So, long as I know I'm inspiring motherfuckers, it don't really matter. Like, I don't really need this. Shit. I don't need this shit to pop off and none of that. I'm gonna get money regardless. So in the studio, you mainly like freestyle or you be freestyle, writing? Freestyle or? everything. Everything, everything. If it, even if you hear a chorus on the shit, I freestyle the chorus. Uh-huh. I don't write nothing. I feel like when you write it, it sound hard as a bitch when you write it, and then when you go and record it, it will never sound nowhere near the same. I don't like that shit at all. It's like you can't recreate the vibe or some shit like that. So I rather just freestyle them shit. Uh, you have a favorite song that you ever created? No. <laughs> no, I ain't got no favorite song, bro. I ain't gonna lie. No. <laughs> uh, you got a favorite song? What's your favorite song with me? Damn. What's your favorite song? What's your favorite song for me? I don't be knowing names or something. Right now, wow. mine's favorite. Mine's is Get Rich. Hey, oh, damn. Niggas, be you one of them niggas? I be looking at my shit and it be like, I be having 200 streams in this year from Get Rich. I'm like, who the fuck is listening to this old ass song? Hey. <laughs> A hard two daily listen to ten niggas. Just meet them with them ass. Hmm? Just Which them one? You reggae G. Oh, you talking about that one? I was talking about it's some uh, old song I got called Gotta Get Rich. That's what it's called. Niggas two hundred stream. What the fuck is bumping this shit? <laughs> For me, it's and um, what's it called? Mushrooms and Duce and Mellow. I fuck with that mushrooms and Duce too. Oh, oh, it's just that beat. That beat. Heavy. Mushrooms and Duce. We gotta, we gotta drop that song too. To my song, I'm release song is one of his favorite. We gotta, we gotta do something. We gotta do. We gotta, I gotta drop. There's a lot of new shit about to be dropping. I haven't dropped something as a little. This shit. So um, 
I know you say you went from Florida to New York and to Charleston. I know that's a lot of different styles of music. Do you feel like where you grew up at contribute to the way you grew up? Hell yeah. Like, do you even... Because I know Charleston music is a lot different than... You know what I mean? So do you get any inspiration from them? Or Hell like, yeah. Like, Hell, right now, not the not the Charleston that I had when I came here, no. Right now, niggas is really raw as a bitch right now, like, feel me? I be hearing some niggas' music and be like, feel me? Like, yeah, that shit making me want to go to the studio and shit. But back in the day, no. Is there any um, artists you want to work with now, like, local-wise or, like... Whoever want to work with me, I, I ain't about to say nobody's name, sound like no... You know what I'm saying? And they like, look at him, he said my name, and never try to work with me or anything, I ain't even... Whoever want to work with me, I don't work with a lot of people though, already. So, but whatever ones left who want to work with me, and ain't no type of politic going on because Charleston got a lot of politics and shit. And I work with them, but I ain't really into working with people for real. Like, I'm gonna do my so if you ain't my people, because it'd be a lot of extra shit coming with shit, and I don't know what niggas be having going on and shit. You know what I'm saying? You do a song with a certain nigga out here, they think you, they really full out street beefing with this person. You do a song with this person, they think you. Ready to ride for this person, like it ain't even be like that. It's just music, bro. Is there any um, mainstream artists you want to work with? Rio the Young OG. When you get in the car, go type in Rio the Young OG, bro. He about to come home soon. I don't even know how hard it is, but I don't even know. So it's not sure. I should not forget that. <laughs> oh, yeah. Like, they go um, see it all this. When that last night Oh, hell yeah. Young yeah, free Max B. Yeah, free Max B. Free before free Rio, free Max B. Free Max B. But still free that nigga too. But shit, I want to in the industry too. Anybody who want to work with me for real, like I ain't passing down no fucking unless you a rat. I can't do that. But them nigga, I ain't passing down no big boy feature. Let me get that. So, um, music wise, um, how important is it, um, music videos are to you? Like, that's the most important thing about music. Like, a nigga could blow up off a music video before he blow up off his song, but it's either, it's, it, it go, it work both ways. But I feel like the music video more important because if I get on the song and I'm talking like I'm Big Meech or Larry Hoover, one of them, and you go see my music video and I'm looking like you ain't gonna believe me no more. But now, if I'm looking like what I'm saying in my music, now I could go drop a whole CD and you probably gonna believe mostly what I'm saying on the whole CD instead of you know what I'm saying like so I feel like music video is like one of the most if not the most important thing when it comes to doing music people want to see they want they want to see they want to put an image on the the, the person who's you know rapping. Uh, you have a favorite video you not shot this well? He's some flex that's with some fucking chapstick. I know my shit probably white. My shit in the car. Uh, my favorite video. Do I have to like? Was it have to be my video? I, I mean, video. I mean oh. the one that you probably created. Which one you think so far your favorite video? I ain't really got no favorite, bro. Um, uh, I'm gonna say um, same scheme. I don't really got a favorite. Though. I really like all my That's shit. What you doing, the <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I really like all my shit, bro. Even if it's like regular as hell, I really be liking my shit. Cause I really be rapping like. Like, I don't, you know, I don't like to compare myself to nobody, but, like, when I put on other people's shit, they don't really be, really be rapping like that. So, I like that. I really care about, mu like, you know, music, like, care about it type shit. So, even though I'm freestyling, I'm still thinking about what I'm saying at each time I punch in type shit. So, how important do you think social media is for artists um, coming up? That's, that's the, the shit in between the camera. And what I said is the most important. Social media, like I said, you could blow up off. You can you can go and audio audio what is it band lab or some shit in your phone and record some shit and make a little trailer to it and blow up like that. Ain't that how little Tyler blow up? Uh, I just about to say little Tyler blow up band lab. Feel me? Social media is uh, definitely definitely it. TikTok. A lot of people blow up off TikTok. A lot of people blow up off Instagram Reels. A lot of people blow up on Famous Animal TV. I just see a nigga damn tatted just get TikTok tatted. Cause he blow up off that shit. Yeah, the social media important. That's that's what that's what the older rappers ain't have coming up. They ain't really have social media to help them like that. They had to be out the trunk and flash drive and all type of shit. Like we really got it easy. That's what make us lazy to be honest. That's what make us lazy. Like rappers back in the days had to work way harder, type shit. So, so um, what's 
So uh, I I noticed like a lot of artists are starting to lean more into doing blogs and I seen a lot of artists trying to do gaming and shit like that. Is that something you'd be interested? <laughs> that's in? yeah. That's what they tell me I should do. Right, you do got one of them vibes the way you can create <laughs> content, no problem. Like even man, if you man, you know, this is reactions. Man, this Max Payne two. I play Max Payne 2, Batman, Arkham Knight, um, Red Dead Redemption, any of them shit, I feel like I could make crazy ass videos streaming on. But I don't know how to do them shit, really. I don't know how to do them shit, bro. If I knew how to do them shit, I'd be doing them shit right now. Um, is there any um, advice you would give to any up and coming artists or anybody? Keep working. Even if the shit, even if you posting your shit and it's getting 10 views or 10. 20 likes or some shit like that. Don't worry about that shit. Just keep going. Keep working. Keep just keep working. I know that shit might sound cliche, my nigga, but I'm telling you, bro. Last year I just started taking this shit serious. Now niggas really know who I am and shit like that for real. Ain't really nobody know who I was for a year ago. People knew who I was, but that's all for me just being Blizzy, not my music type shit. Then they be like, "Oh, you rap?" Shit like that. Now people really know me for rap. Like two, three people inboxing me a day from another country. Like Yo, your shit hard and shit like that. You feel like you gotta move different through the city now that people starting to recognize you, just like people coming up to you, just asking you, like. Nah, cause I ain't, I'm, I ain't still ain't, I still ain't one of them, one of them, one of them ones for me. I'm good. I'm still regular Blizzy for real. I still be going everywhere regular and shit. People would just be like, "Oh, you Blizzy, right? Oh, yo, that shit when you was behind the shit with the um nigga, with the that shit was hard, or I fuck with your music." Or, I mean, like, I don't know, niggas be, I guess I don't got that look. I don't got that look where you could just feel like you could just easily approach me and shit like that. So people be saying it from the far, like, oh, you blizzy, right? Ooh. Oh, yeah, I fuck with you. I ain't gonna lie, I be clutching on niggas and shit, bro. Her. I be clutching on niggas who be walking up to me, bro, because I don't know if niggas trying to do some something to me or something, bro. I don't know. So, um, like, you think once you reach that level of stardom where you really, like, famous, you feel like you still conduct yourself the same way? Same me like we. I ain't gonna be different cause shit. That's when you know, I, don't, I ain't gonna lose myself for nothing. Like, cause like I said, bro, I got light feet videos, hundred thousand. I got videos when they done connect me to the K Flock nigga, going millions. Like, bro, I swear to God, ten people hit me up every fucking week about that shit. I got shit doing. I just, so I'm, I'm still the same nigga. Them shit been. I've been had shit doing that, bro. Like this ain't nothing new to me, bro. I've been had shit doing crazy numbers on YouTube, bro. A My lot. face been out there, bro. A lot of people are against it right now, but what would be the magic number to sign Blizzy Black to a label? I know a lot of people don't want to do it. I know a lot of people been getting fucked with their paper type shit, but like, what, what number? What's the magic number to get Blizzy to sign? Two hundred thousand. Two hundred. I feel like you're worth more than that. <coughs> I know. I feel like that too. But when you when you sign for that big amount, you gotta recoup that. You gotta make sure you cool. I know for sure if niggas give me 200k right now, I go on the road. This that niggas gonna be like, who is this nigga? Like everywhere I go, they already do that. Like when I start rapping or play my song, I be playing. Sometimes I play my song, and they'll be like, Yo, who the fuck is you listening to? And I'm like, that's me. And they be like, that is not you. I'm like, I swear to God, that's me. Look, my name is Blizzy. Look, let me say it in the song. Look, boom, that's me. Man, you don't think like that la uh, the labels gave you that push or that edge that you need? Or yeah. Because a lot of people, yeah. are against, they are, everybody want to be independent. Give me 200K right now. I'm going I'm to I'm I'm recoup that, get my people, yeah, get my people in a nice situation. I'm, that's way more than enough to get me and my people in a nice situation. For sure. I know I'm going to make the money regardless, bro. I don't... I'm not trying to like toot my own horn, but I sent my bitch 30, I mean, my, 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 sent my female 30K in one year, like, all from her investing in me a thousand dollars, bro. Speaking of female, how important is females to your career? Like, um, I know you could either go through some shit or like. Female could be, female could be hazardous and good to your career. Cause you could be so fucked up by the female that you ain't want to do nothing when you want to break up and type shit. Or when she cheat on you or. When you get caught cheating or some shit like that, feel but me? But a lot of time that make the best music. It, 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 it do, be, yeah, you know yeah. I mean? yeah. It do be. Yeah. But sometimes a, a lot of time that'll fuck you up. Sometimes you need that female that's, you know what I'm saying, trying to push you to do the right thing, and that should've, that should've make you go up. 
You make any love songs or you more like on some? <laughs> Cause I ain't too much hearing nothing no lovey dovey shit. I don't have no lovey dovey right. shit. I need to make. I guess I need to make some, bro. That shit might blow me up. My lovey, a lovey dovey song might take me where I need to go. Then I'm gonna make a whole album. <laughs> no, no. Yo, I'm gonna be like, yo, TD, we in the studio, man. What you did? What you did last night? No. Tell me, tell me your stories. I'm putting everybody's no. stories in my shit. You saying hell no, whatever. Hey, whatever, Please, making us money. I, that shit is awesome fucking. And you'll be right on stage with sold out crowd with me too, like <laughs> looking in the crowd like, hope oh, this that one that one. So like with that amount of with that amount of like females throwing at you, you think you think you're gonna still be able to stay faithful to your woman? Yeah. Like yeah. with that amount, like me like you know what I mean? Like yeah. that's a lot of stress on one man, especially yeah. when it's the the, the 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 more you don't fuck with them, the more they gonna want you. So like, are you a strip club connoisseur? Or no, you? I never. I've, I've been to strip club one time in my life, and that was my cousin's birthday. How much money you think you throw when you went in? I ain't throw shit. I threw his money. <laughs> <laughs> I was broke, nigga. I just really got right, man. I was broke. I said, you got me in a strip club with no money. He said, here, chill, cuz. Give me like 151. I went, Damn, we were making that little, and we came in there late, uh, a club in Atlanta. It was a big club. I don't know which, we was in there like one, two in the morning. My nigga, you walking, nigga, the f dollar bills is the carpet, nigga. You do not see the floor, bro. I swear, I'll be like, damn, this shit lit. We got in our little corner, and we were just, <laughs> all the John be coming over there and shit. That shit been, that shit been lit. I ain't gonna lie, that club life look lit. I ain't gonna lie. So right. you um like a smoker or a drinker like you... I'm I'm both but more way more of a smoker. I don't really be drinking like that, but I will drink. I'm smoking a blunt right now that I keep fucking like What's your favorite bottle? Do say your Hennessy. Right. You <laughs> like that brown, that brown. Yeah, do say your Hennessy, man. Hennessy for my boy RP Kim Law, do say for me, for real. Um, so any um advice you wanna give or anything you wanna speak to the people? Don't believe everything you hear. Focus on your shit. Another thing is don't compare your shit to nobody else's shit. Don't look at somebody's shit and be like, damn, his shit doing this and my shit doing Don't ever do that shit, my nigga. Only compare yourself to your old self. Like, if you made fucking $20,000 last year and you make $30,000 this year, you did better, nigga. Like, don't look at this nigga and be like, damn, but this nigga got $100,000. That's when you're going to lose yourself. Worry about the next person, you gonna lose yourself in your path and what you trying to do, man. I don't never worry about the next person. They always compare themselves to me, though. I don't know why, but I don't never compare myself to nobody, bro. You never know what somebody got going on, bro. I'm in a household of five kids that I take care of, bro. See what I'm saying? Car insurance, I got big boy shit. Niggas be still, you know what I'm saying? I think I appreciate you tapping in with Thoughty World. You already know what I'm Shout out your Instagram. Um, Blizzy underscore Blizzy Black. That's the only uh, social media platform. Um, Facebook Blizzy Black, but Instagram is really where everything is at. You know what I'm saying? You don't need nothing else but Instagram for real.